So last night on the undercard, well I should say undercard, but on the Harrison versus Charlo card, Errol Spence gave his first interview since he crashed his Ferrari there back in October. And before I give my two cents on it, I've seen a lot of people commenting on the interviews with Spence saying that they feel that he suffered some kind of brain trauma because a lot of people feel as though his speech isn't quite right. Now, yes, the crash was bad they showed another replay of it and it just kind of jogs your memory as to how bad it actually was but personally i don't think he suffered any brain trauma i think it's more so the fact that in that accident well actually accident implies there's no one to blame and we all know that that's not true in the crash spence suffered injuries to his teeth now i don't know whether they were completely knocked out or what happened but there was injuries to his teeth okay it's hard the worst thing that's happened to him but basically, I'm assuming he got replacement teeth or he got work done on his teeth. So I would imagine that that's all it is. So the kind of, what's the word, discrepancy in Spence's speech or, you know, the, the bit of kind of offness in his speech, I think it's more so down to the teeth as opposed to actual brain trauma. That's just what I believe anyway. Uh, Errol Spence has said in this interview that it was a miracle from God. He said anyone else would have probably been killed in that crash. And it was, p people, it was a bad crash. Like, if you haven't seen that crash, it's amazing how he was. Just amazed. Seriously. He says he's, got, he's looking to fight around May or June. He's already started training. He doesn't want to take a tune fight. He wants a top name, either Pacquiao, Crawford, or Garcia. Okay. Now, I done a video there about a week or so ago, and I said that I felt that Spence's injuries were worse than PBC are letting on. I don't... I still do think Spence's injuries probably... I don't think they're going to incapacitate him from coming back to the ring. But I wouldn't be surprised if Spence's comeback is put off until maybe 2021. Seriously. Wouldn't shock me. I go back to what Hatman said about seeing Spence's... I think his left hand. And he says his left hand looked strange. Uh, not in this interview, in a previous picture he's seen of Spence. He said his left hand looked strange. And we didn't see Spence from the chest down. So we saw from Spence's chest up to his head. We never saw a full, or at least I didn't anyway, seen a full picture of Spence, you know, all there. So I don't know what way his hands are. As for his left eye, there's still a bit of scarring around it. So if he does fight, be kind of interesting to see, will that kind of flare up? Will that be more prone to swelling? Who knows? Um, a crash like that, I've said it several times in videos about Spence. I wonder what mental trauma is there. Because this isn't like getting knocked out in the ring, okay, or getting knocked out badly. This is a, th that was near death, all right? The man came close to death in that crash. That's got to be a bewildering experience for anyone. I don't care how mentally strong you are, being in an accident like that, it's a traumatic experience. And I just wonder how Spence will be mentally, you know? I know it's not technically, you know, a boxing-related kind of, you know, mental affliction, but what happens when he starts getting hit? What happens when it starts getting tough? Will that will there be any trauma from that crash? Will it manifest itself in the ring? You know, if he comes back in May or June, I don't know. Uh, as I said in several videos, seeing the crash as it was, again, I, I'd be amazed, amazed if there's not any residual injury or residual trauma with Spence. You know, as I said, it's great to see him up giving interviews. He said he's been spending a lot of time with his young daughter, which is good to see. You know, he, it's a very silly thing what he did because at the end of the day, he's got to think of them as well. His family and friends and his children, obviously. I just want to see Spence fighting fit. You know, I love watching Spence fight. I do. And I would be a greedy boxer fan if I said I, you know, would want to see Spence not come back. I wouldn't. I'd love, I love watching Spence fight. I think he's very entertaining. I think he's a very good fighter. But at the end of the day, your health is more important. And if there is any residual trauma or damage from this crash, then I would advocate maybe taking a break. Maybe seeing, evaluating things, spending time with your family. Errol Spence has made a decent amount of money over the last few years in boxing. So it'd be worth seeing. If he comes back, he's saying he wants a Garcia, Danny, obviously, Crawford, a Pacquiao. Um, if I was advising Errol Spence, I would just take an easy tune-up fight if I was to come back. Just to see where you are mentally, where your head's at. Because who knows what happens if you get in there with a Pacquiao 
and you know it starts getting a bit tough so those are my thoughts on this let me know what you think down below as for the harris and charlo fight i watched it live uh not because i wanted to because i couldn't sleep and i caught <clears throat> pretty much the entire fight i thought harrison was winning the fight ultimately he got caught he got caught in exchange and nah stoppage was meh iffy iffy but uh, the right was on the wall. So thoughts on that. Let me know what you think down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Share it if you found it useful. And as always, I will talk to you after.